right, Mike. So today, do some of these spinal stability exercises. I'm going to have you lay on your back with your knees hooked up like, like such. You want to make sure that you're not laying straight on your black back, um, frontwards or backwards, that you always have your knees bent so that you never go into that full extension of the spine. Okay? So to target the muscles that we're looking for our stabilizers, you want to um, touch right here at your pelvic, the most bony part. And then you're just going to move your hands a little medially. When you do that, you're going to do a little cough. <coughs> and that's going to help you find those muscles that we want to target and tighten those up. A few cues that will help. One, think of your belly button being pulled back into your spine. Um, second, we're going to engage your pelvic floor. So this one can be a little difficult. So a nice imagery helps. If you think of yourself walking into some icy cold water and right as that water starts to come up to your man parts and you feel yourself kind of tense up, that's the tension we're looking for down there. So once we target those muscles, then I'm going to have you um, take your knee here and just slowly let it fall out. Okay. So, have a seat before you lay fully down though. I'm going to put the smooth part of this um, blood, blood pressure cuff right at the small of your back. Sorry, was that on? Straight. Good. Okay. So, um, that'll help me kind of know if you're engaging those muscles okay. by watching um, the odometer here. Okay. And now it goes. So let's find those muscles. So you're going to touch onto your hips, right at that bony part, and then move your hands just a little inward. Give okay. yourself a little cough. <coughs> you feel that muscle there? Yeah. Great. So that's the muscle we're trying to target to tighten up a little bit. Okay. Engage that pelvic floor. You're going to um, think of that water creeping up and, um, and your muscles down there tighten just a bit. Okay. And you're going to think of your belly button being pulled back down to your spine. Okay. So I'm going to get this pumped up to where it needs to be. So I can watch you. I put it up to 40. And then as you tighten those muscles, I'll see it go up a little bit and fall as you relax. But I shouldn't see it spike more than 10. Okay? Okay. So if you want to tighten those up for me. And then we're just going to let that knee fall out just slightly. Nice and slow. Good and slow. Okay, and bring that knee back on by. Slow, slow, slow. Great. Where are you feeling that? Like right inside. Do you feel that? Yeah. The tightening of those yeah. muscles down there? Yeah. Good. All right, so the next one, I'm going to have you stay there. We're going to engage those muscles again. So I'm going to have you bring your arms out um, to your side, palms up, okay. and we're going to do a little snow angel. So we're going to we'll engage those muscles down there, and then we'll just bring our arms up. Okay. okay? Good. We'll stop right about there. So we start to lose it a little bit there. Tighten those muscles. Great job. Okay. okay, I'm going to show you some strengthening ones now. While you get up, when you get up, make sure you roll to all the way to the side before you pop up. Okay. Good job. Our strengthening exercises are going to be done in a seated position today. I'm going to sit just toward the edge of your chair. Um, knees out in front of you, arms out straight, and then you're just going to flex down. These are strengthening our rectus abdominal muscles. These 
are your spinal flexors. And this should be a nice, comfortable position for you. Okay. Straight out. Straight out, perfect. And then just as you start walking, make sure, or as you start creeping down, just make sure you look down. So your eyes and your head are gonna follow the movement. And that makes the rest of you come up. Okay? Okay, yeah. Let's do a couple reps of those. You should be feeling it right in here. Yeah. Flexing a little bit. Yeah. Okay? Good. Do you feel that? Yeah. Engaging there? Okay, mm -hmm. good deal. So the next one here I'm going to show you is a nice stretch for your hip flexors. So your hip flexors are really tight right now, these muscles right here and they're um, pulling you into an anterior pelvic tilt by being um, so tight. So to stretch those out, we're just gonna stand straight in front of the chair, shoulder, uh, feet shoulder width apart, facing forward. You're gonna bring one knee up on the chair. And then I want you to keep your hands at your pelvic here uh -huh. so that, um, I'm gonna put that camera up just a little bit for me. Thank you. I want you to keep your hands at your pelvic here so that as you lean forward, we're keeping a nice neutral back and we're not leaning into it this way. Okay. Okay? hands on your hips there and check your form here this way. Okay, nice, nice straight, nice straight, good. Okay. So you're going to want to drive through the knee and just push that knee. Okay. Now come as far forward until you feel that stretch right okay, through here. Feel You'll that. feel it right in the front and then down that yeah. um, side of the thigh there. Okay, let's like check that. out your back, nice neutral back. Okay, so you're leaning. Let me show you what you look like. You look a little bit like this. Okay. We want it nice and straight as we drive that knee down. There you go. Okay. Much better. Okay, good job. And then you make sure that you, um, because that's a stretch, you're gonna wanna hold that for 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, so we'll work on that one and make sure we're not leaning too far back or too far forward. We just wanna keep a nice neutral spine okay. as we do that. All right, good okay. job.